Welcome to our channel. We are grateful and God bless you for your continual support. We want to continue our study uh, that we have been doing on the authority of the believer. We have had two lessons already. In the first lesson, we spoke about the power of attorney, and the power of attorney is the exceeding greatness of the power of God, which has been given to every believer through Christ Jesus Christ. And in our second lesson, we spoke about the power of the word or the word power. So we have the power of attorney, which is given to us according to Ephesians chapter 1 in the verse 19. Every Christian, every believer has the power of God, which we used to raise Christ Jesus from the dead. And this same power created everything in the world. And this same power set all things under the feet of Jesus Christ. So I can use this delegated power, which I call the power of Antony. Now, in the second lesson, we talked about the work of his power or the power of the word. That the word created all things and the word is the power of God. And when I accept the word of God, I accept the power of God. When I use the word of God, I use the word of God which is the power of God. When I activate the word, I'm activating the power of God. And I can use the power of God to do everything, because everything, both visible and invisible, seen and unseen, created and uncreated, is controlled by the power of His word. And we said that when you become a Christian, you have access to the word of God, you can use it by as your authority. Now, today we are moving on to the third lesson, and I'm talking about the power in the name of Jesus or the authority in the name of Jesus. Now, remember, it is not everybody who has access to the name of Jesus Christ. Just as in the time of the Old Testament, the Bible said that those who were outside the commonwealth of Israel, they were without God, they were without Jesus Christ, they were without the word of God, they were hopeless and useless, they were without God, and so they didn't have access to the word of God, they couldn't use the word of God. Now, we who are in Christ Jesus, we are the only ones who have access to the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, those who are not Christians, those who are not born again, they can use the name. They can also assess the name. But we who are believers have more access to the power and authority of God through the name of Jesus Christ than those who are outside the covenant of God which we have through Jesus Christ. So it is more to our advantage as believers than those who are outside the name and outside the covenant of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So we have one, delegated authority of the power of atoning. Two, we have the word power, the power of the word of God. It is also our authority. And today we are looking at the power in the name of Jesus Christ. How is it that the power of the name of Jesus Christ is the authority of a believer? Now, everything, every authority, both in heaven and on earth and under the earth, submits to the name of Jesus Christ. This is well established in Philippians chapter 2, the verse 9 to verse 11, where this thing is located. Now, he says that, Wherefore God also has highly exalted him, and giving him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, of things in earth, and of things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So this is to buttress the point, this is to confirm the point, that everything in heaven, on earth, under the earth, submit to the name of Jesus. Every knee, 
every tongue, every authority, every power. There is nothing that can resist the name of Jesus. There is nothing that can refuse to bow to the name of Jesus. And remember, he said, this is the name that has been given to the believer. Those who are in Christ, he said that when we mention the name, as the name of Jesus, as the name of Jesus, in other words, at the mention of the name, at the proclamation of the name, at the call of the name of Jesus, every situation, every circumstance, every spirit, every principality and power must bow, must be told, must submit, and must respond with immediate effect, you know, at the mention of the name Jesus Christ. This is another authority, another channel by which we derive power from God. I derive the power of God through the name of Jesus. Why? Because this name has been highly exalted. You see, it's a wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every name must bow. So everything must bow. So I can control the circumstances of life. I can direct the circumstances of life. I can manage the circumstances of life. I can determine how the circumstances of life surrounding me, surrounding other people, surrounding my environment, where I live, my marriage, my school, my education, by the authority I derive through the name of Jesus. I speak for in the name of Jesus and it happens. I declare in the name of Jesus and it happens. And I see the results that I want. You see, so the name of Jesus is the authority of the believer. Just as in the second lesson, we heard that the word of God is the authority of the believer. And also, as we heard in the first lesson, that the delegated authority, Christ has given every power that God gave to him, he gave it to the church. And so, as I am part of the church, which is the body of Christ, that power belongs to me also. So, this is the distinction between these three um, channels by which we derive authority as Christians uh, in, in the faith. One delegated authority. Every power that God gave to Jesus has been given to us as believers. Number two, the word of God gives me power. And number three, the name of Jesus gives me power. Now, so in Matthew chapter 7, in the verse 22, listen to what it says. Jesus is speaking and he said that many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. So you see, prophesying using the spiritual gifts comes in the name of Jesus Christ. He said that and have cast out devils. So we rule and dominate the devil and dominate demons and dominate witches and wizards, principalities and powers by the name of Jesus. You see, we rule them. We, 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 we control them. We, we keep them under our feet. We, we manage the devil and demon in the name of Jesus. We, we shut them down in the name of Jesus. We rebuke them and cast them out in the name of Jesus. In fact, we silence the devil and the activities in our lives in the name of Jesus. And also, he said that in thy name, we have done many wonderful things. You see, many powerful things, many supernatural things. The name of Jesus gives us access to supernatural ability and power, which comes from God. So I have to use the name as a child of God. I have to declare and speak and command in the name of Jesus. When I use the name, I'm using the authority that God has given to me as a believer. So it, it is up to the Christian, it is up to you as a believer, which of the authorities you want to use. Remember, the authority that comes to the believer 
in the name of Jesus is no less or greater than the power you derive when you use the word or than the power which you have derived from God or received from God through the power of atonement. So they have the same source. They are all coming from God. So none is greater than the other. But the situation in which you are demands which of the authority that you can use or you can um, assess at the time. So some want to or prefer to use the power of authority to act in the stead of Jesus Christ because he has given us his power to use everything that he uh, did yes. in the power of attorney. An example is when uh, Peter and John at the gate of beautiful say that in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk and the man came up. That is using the power of attorney. Listen to this. Our spiritual worship, activity, exercises, and ministry can only be effectual when done in the name of Jesus Christ. According to the scripture we just read from Matthew chapter 7 and the verse 22. So manifesting the spiritual gifts, they are powerful when we do it in the name of Jesus. Casting out devil and, and, and evil spirits, which is wizard, is powerful through the name of Jesus. And all wonderful works are done, all miraculous works are done in the name of Jesus. That is your authority you have as a believer to so use the name of Jesus. Now in Mark chapter 9, verse 38 to 39, it says the name was effectual in performing signs and wonders and miracles even before the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You see, the disciples were telling Jesus that we saw somebody use your name to cast out devils. So we, we tried to stop him. And Jesus said, no, don't stop him. Once he, he said that the one who uses my name is he he's not scattering, he's with us, and therefore don't uh, forbid him. Anyone who is not scattering is with me, he's not against me. So, people who were not following Jesus, who did not believe in him, could even use his name for wonders, for miracles, for mighty deeds. How much more those of us who are in Christ and Christ is in us and has given us the, the go ahead to use his name. You see, even as at then when Christ had not died and to pay for our sins, to be raised from the dead and to be set on high at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places. Even then, people who use his name, people who were not believers, people who were not his followers, who use his name for wonderful things, for miraculous things, for wondrous things, for great things to happen, then how much more of us who are in the new covenant, who are in the era where Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father Almighty, at the point where his name has been exalted above every name, that at the mention of his name, all things should bow and go to his name. We have greater advantage. So let us use the authority that we have as believers to come to us in the name of Jesus. Just use the name. Just use the name. Just use the name. Have faith in the name. Have faith in the name. Have faith in the name. Use the word. Use the name and declare it, and you shall have it done in you. you know, said in John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, Jesus said, And whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, it shall be done unto you. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17, he said that in my name, in my name, in my name shall ye cast out devils. In my name, you shall drink deadly poisons. It will not hurt you. In my name, you shall speak with new tongues. In my name, you shall lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. In my name, in my name, in my name, in my name. So in the name of Jesus, we have all the authority and power of God to do what we have to do on earth. Anything we want to attend to in the name of Jesus, we can attend to it. We can have it done because the name carries the power of God. The same power which Christ exercised when he was here on earth. Wow. 
10. In Acts 3 16, he said that through the name and faith in the name of Jesus, has this miracle been wrapped or done. So, believers, um, let us uh, have faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us use it because it gives us our authority in Christ Jesus. We shall look at another agency or channel by which we have authority as Christians in our next lesson. The Lord bless you and just anticipate a powerful series and a powerful video in the next lesson. God bless you. Stay blessed and we shall meet again. Bye-bye.